Hello, my name is Dr Anne Weaver. I'm a consultant in emergency medicine and pre-hospital care based at the Royal London Hospital and with London's Air Ambulance. My talk today was called Bloody Hell, Managing Severe Bleeding in the Emergency Department. One in four patients that presents as a trauma patient to the emergency department has ATC or acute traumatic coagulopathy. This has been described as a discrete disease entity and is actually different to the hypothermia, acidosis and dilution that we were taught about traditionally. The hypothermia, acidosis and dilution do affect our patients, but actually ATC in itself is caused by traumatic injury to tissues and particularly the endothelium and also hypoperfusion shock and um, lack of perfusion to the endothelium. We need to be aware that this affects our patients as time to blood products and vascular control is critical and massive hemorrhage protocols can help improve our outcomes for these patients. It's important to identify whether hemorrhage is compressible or non-compressible and basic techniques and good use of equipment can help reduce compressible hemorrhage. Even a one unit blood transfusion carries a mortality and hence trying to avoid excessive blood transfusion is important in this group. I hope that everybody will take the time to ensure that their simple techniques of bandaging and hemorrhage control um, are as good as they can be and also that we all take it upon ourselves to work in our own hospital systems to improve major hemorrhage protocols and the systems to benefit these patients.